Breaking news today as the Gators land another commit, their fifth of the last 36 hours. UF is extremely hot on the trail right now, and we hear that the fireworks aren't done just yet. We're going to put a couple more guys on commitment watch here in just a moment, but let's talk first about UF's newest commitment. Makai Borio is a three-star defensive lineman prospect out of Fairburn, Georgia. This is the third recruit out of the state of Georgia that Billy Napier has pulled this weekend. So we know that that means that there is definitely a focus on that state right there in Kirby's backyard. Makai is 6'5", 350 pounds. As a junior, he totaled 43 tackles, seven of those for a loss, and three quarterback hurries while playing for Creekside. This is particularly impressive because nose tackle is not generally a position that racks up a lot of numbers on the stat sheet. He is a dominant player. Watching his high school film, you will see exactly the kind of player Florida is getting. He is tough. He is huge. He is really, really good at disrupting the offensive line and the running game of the teams that he's playing. I mentioned Kirby a minute ago, but listen, Kirby was UF's biggest competition and he was on their campus just last weekend for an official visit after he visited UF the week prior. Major shout out to Sean Spencer and Billy Gonzalez, who were both heavily involved in his recruitment. Obviously, shout out to Billy Napier as well, making the state of Georgia a priority, going in there, taking a player away from UGA. There is no way for the Bulldogs to spin this. Georgia wanted Makai. They wanted him. He His high school is 80 miles away from Georgia's campus. This is losing a guy in your own backyard. There is definitely not a positive way for Georgia to spin this. And, you know, we've talked on this channel a lot about the fact that you have got to go head to head with some of the top dog programs and walk away with the recruit that you're fighting for if you ever want to get back to national prominence and national dominance. We know that's Billy Napier's goal, and we've seen him do that time and time again in the 2024 class. This is such a really good example, though. Um, Makai really kind of narrowed it down to Florida and Georgia. A lot of people thought Michigan was pretty high on his list for a while, but he canceled his official visit that was supposed to be upcoming uh, with them and really just focused on his, his visit with Florida and his visit with Georgia. That means that UF did an incredible job when they got him on campus. They were able to sell him on what he could do for the program. They were able to sell him on the facilities and the school better than Kirby was able to do. And that is a huge win, Gator fans, and it should be something that makes you really confident that this program is headed in the right direction. I gave you a stats before, but guys, this kid is absolutely massive. He is 6'5", 350 pounds. Another thing we talk about on this channel all the time, you can't teach size. And we know that Florida really likes having big interior defensive linemen. When you look at a guy like Desmond Watson or others, they like a kid that they can coach up and really rely on to be a run-stopping plug in the middle. You watch Makai's film, that is exactly what UF is getting. Just before we go on, do me a quick favor and comment below where you think UF's class will finish up this season. If they stay hot like this, the sky is the limit. But I want to know what you guys are thinking as well. Obviously, a big thing to like about Makai is his size, but he's also incredibly strong. He moves really well, especially considering his size, and he will certainly benefit from being in an SEC strength and conditioning program. I would not anticipate that he comes in and makes an immediate impact, but with some hard work, he could absolutely grow into an impactful role for the Gators. Shout out to this defensive staff. They have been a huge focus on defensive recruiting this cycle. And when you look at what UF has pulled in this class, the defensive side of the ball has been super, super impressive. It's also where the Gators needed the most work if you looked at their play over the last few seasons. So this is huge. Billy Napier knows that you had to fix the defense. Florida's defense has really just been kind of miserable the last couple of seasons. And if you're going to win those games, the defense really needed to improve. I think the 2024 class is going to help Napier and this team take a huge step in the right direction. Florida obviously had a phenomenal weekend, and we told you about the four commits plus Austin Simmons situation in videos over the weekend, and we'll link those at the end. But We've also been told that UF may not be done just yet. 
We continue to hear that there is a strong possibility that UF could flip TJ Abrams from the Florida State Seminoles. Abrams is a four-star wide receiver that has been committed to the Knowles for a few months now, but he was in Gainesville this past weekend. Teddy Foster is another guy, a three-star cornerback that it really feels like the Gators are moving in on, and he's someone that could commit to Florida in the very near future. We'll see if the Gators continue to really press him for a commitment or not, but I really do think there's a chance he ends up in orange and blue relatively soon. Hopefully this momentum will continue to carry them and they'll stay really, really hot on the trail. What are your thoughts on the weekend recruiting and where this class ends up finishing in the rankings? Make sure you comment below and we'll have a, we'll talk back and forth. I really do think this class could end up top five if this continues like this. Billy Napier is currently on a tear. We showed a few of Michael Borio's highlights courtesy of huddle.com earlier in the video, but if you want to see more, stay tuned because we're going to let you see a whole bunch of his film. But just before we do that, if you've made it this far in the video, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. We have a huge goal of trying to get 5,000 subscribers by the time the season starts and you hitting that button can help me reach that goal. If you missed our videos on the last four commitments and the Austin Simmons situation, do me a favor and click right here to check it out.